Well, I ruined the back door. I was being impatient and I was doing really long stitch welds and I warped it in between the hinges and uh, actually warped it up here too, but I was able to bend this part back. It's still not perfect, but this side's being really difficult. I put a whole bunch, I put a, wrapped a chain and I jacked it up and, and I'm just gonna give up on this door idea. I already emailed a metal shop to see if they do, if they could, if they had some trick to bending this back. I was thinking, you know, they could just use a forklift and a couple up against something or, anyway, I'm giving up on this idea. It's a huge disappointment, a lot of wasted work, but it was, I suppose, good practice, good welding practice, and good practice in door making. I've never made a door before, especially not out of steel, so that was fun. I might have made, might have made a door out of plywood, but that's my first legit door. I thought that turned out great, but I was just being impatient with the welding, and I screwed it up, and I stopped welding about here when I noticed it warping. Uh, I was actually having a bad day that day. I was rushing things. Wanted to get a video made. Things have not been doing too good on the channel yeah, because of my infrequent uploads. So I was kind of rushing things, really wanting to get a video uploaded. And I... Hard lesson there on patience. Kind of learned that on the roof. I don't know what happened. Just was impatient. So, now I'm doing little baby one inch stitch welds. Or smaller, one inch to half inch. I really hate doing that, it's just tedious. and I really would just like to weld and weld and weld until it's all done, but yeah, things warp. Ruined that door, it really sucks. That was a lot of work for nothing. Well, I, yeah, I got some experience out of it, but anyway, so we're gonna, I'm gonna cut the hinges off, we're gonna cap this up, and then move my air conditioner over, which I like this idea better. I thought about that in the beginning, not, you know, I don't like having the air conditioner offset. It's not a very big air conditioner, but I still want that centered. It'll blow cold air right down the middle of my house area and cool things more evenly. I also really wanted to put a ladder on the back, centered. It'll have to, the rungs will have to stick out far enough to go around the air conditioner, but yeah, there's a couple different modifications that I'm going to kind of look at the bright side of this of for doing. Um, that's one less door stop I have to worry about making. I just got to do the front door now and the two lower cabinets. Those will be easy because the door is only an inch thick and the frame is an inch and a quarter, uh, yeah, inch and a half. So that leaves me room to do an easy door stop. We'll just frame that inside the opening. The door is, however, going to need a spacer uh, to make room for weather stripping. So it'll be like a little spacer and then some flat bar to make the door stop and a surface to attach weather stripping to. So I'm just gonna do like a cross member, frame up another spot for the air conditioner. And uh, I'm just gonna plug up that back door. That sucks. That would have been real nice for putting in long pieces of like two by fours or whatever I might get at the hardware store though that probably wouldn't happen very often I can also save a little bit of weight that thing's like 60 to 80 pounds as far as I could tell probably closer to 80 pounds weighs about as much as a full sheet of 16 gauge so replacing that with just a sheet without all the framing might save me like 20 pounds I don't know it's not really the biggest deal I was kind of thinking about putting the door back in and just welding it in place I might still do that. We can use the welds to, you know, the corners are sticking out a little bit. It's warped, so, um, you know, this corner and this corner is still flush, but right here it's it's bowed in about a quarter inch. And so that's really screwed things up. But anyway, I can hide that warp situation by uh, just, you know, putting a thick weld around it. And so I might do that, but yeah, I could save some weight though. Which is probably not the biggest, you know, saving 20 pounds probably isn't the biggest deal. And cut, uh, I'll trim that piece off. Gosh, that bugs the crap out of me. That sucks so much. It's just rushing things. In a hurry. Lesson learned. Should have learned it on the roof. At least I was able to fix that. This is a. Uh, Door is a little too sturdy to bend for what I'm able to do. 
Um, yeah, if I put this back in, it's a lot of extra frame. I don't need any framing on that anymore. Maybe just a cross member in the center to support another sheet. Though this kind of gives me a nice opening to, hmm, you know, set the air conditioner in. Probably not the right spacing though either. I just, what else am I gonna do with this thing? I'm also thinking I could cap it and then cut it out later and do another attempt at the back door, but I think we'll save that for uh, the second steel RV. Definitely want to have another go at this, but in a better situation with like a shop out of the weather, in a situation where I'm not stressed and trying to rush things. Big bummer. All right, things are coming out so much better. I actually did some long stitches over here to bring this corner out just a tiny bit. It was like a sixteenth of an inch off compared to the top. And I actually managed to tweak that. Uh, purposeful warping, that was kind of fun. I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can tweak this out a little bit. And sure enough, a couple fat stitches, medium one, and I could just barely, just made a slight adjustment there. Really wasn't necessary, but I thought I'd try it. And then the knot, you know, this, this is looking really good, so we don't wanna warp that at all. So I'm doing just little itty bitty stitch welds and that is working out so much better. All right, that turned out great. Little tiny half inch stitch welding seems to be the solution for these doors. I was able to go a little longer on the stitch welding on these. Since uh, I assume since they're a little more supported, the doors warp easier. I guess I don't know, but that was that sucks. No more back door. But I learned a lesson. I learned uh, a little bit more about warping and how to use it to my advantage. Even since that corner was in by just like a sixteenth of an inch, not a huge deal. But I thought I would just try warping it since it's. Since that happens so easily, so frequently. Um, anyway, yeah, worked out great. Little tiny, doesn't look as good, but it's better than ruining the door. came off it just bang. It's like popped off of that hinge so bad it sounded like a little explosion.
All right, that looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, we still got some warpage in the corners, which is gonna make it really hard to seal. I mean, surprisingly, the hinges still line up good. Oops, I think. Um, but yeah, if that sits right there, looks like this side's the worst. God, that is so fucking unmotivating. I don't want to have to try and bend that back. Just need to like tack it all the way around and just keep tacking it until. It... Yeah, I'm not interested in doing that. I guess I could try and find a torch. I know there's a trick, maybe to heat up the back side of this and warp it back. I mean, that side I can live with. Maybe. But this side, I don't know. I must have done too big of a. Put too much heat in that corner. God, that is frustrating. It'll still work. Oh, the back door warping and now that warping. I'm actually feeling kind of defeated on this right now. Project time on this. For now, I'll wrap it up in the tarp and then. Do something to get back. To... I have an idea for the truck. Something simple. Bending back. Why did this turn out so good? I don't think it'd be too hard to bend that back somehow. I'm good. I just, I get, I'm in, I'm just wanting to weld all the seams on this. It's just my, what I'm doing. I don't want to deviate, I don't want to, I know there's some sealant, I could probably get some seam sealer, seam sealer. But I hate that idea. I have to scrape it off later if I ever do a repair. I really need to get myself a fixture table. Pretty sure that is the uh, best solution for this. Okay, I'm trying these with the tiny stitch welds, they're like a quarter inch. There's like a double wide tack weld. I went a little, I think I'm starting to realize what the problem is and I'm, I'm kind of just wanting to close the gap. It's like right here if I'm wanting to stitch, but the, the tack weld is just, you know, a little bit far, you know, I just kind of want to finish the weld and I'm being impatient, so. I'm, Still kind of doing it down here. This and this was, you know, I started out attack and instead of stopping halfway, I just kind of wanted to finish to the next tack, but I think that's what's screwing me up. Just being impatient. That did the same thing. Didn't seem like that made a difference. Going shorter on the stitch welding. Still works, still closes. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea, but kind of looks like it's working. Okay, I just took this door down to check and that actually straightened that side out good enough to work. So let's do this side. Okay. Let's hope these hinges still are not.
good enough. Okay, then. I'll take one more. Not perfect, but it is close enough. All right, that's about as good as I'm gonna get that, which isn't too bad. It's... Okay, that I can live with. One last thing to weld. And then the exterior. Yeah, oh yeah. The, need to seal that up. I need to cut the hinges off and then I can uh, reframe for the air conditioner. I'm gonna frame it a little bit lower so I can use it as an emergency exit. Gonna make it easy to remove. We're gonna put like a lever or something that can let it slide out. Yeah, it's a bummer, but I can take these. I more than likely will take these off later and either remake them. Ran into town and picked up a four foot by 28 and a half inch sheet of 16 gauge cold rolled for 33 bucks, which is pretty awesome because they first quoted me at, at uh, around 55. It was like a 55 28. Newberg Steel wanted $74. Probably never going there again. They don't answer their emails either. And uh, yeah, way overpriced. So that'll be good. I'll, they'll plug up the door, leave me some room to frame out the air conditioner, and I should, should have enough scrap left over to seal up around the AC unit. Need to trim it down a little bit. Okay, I need a piece of square tube to go across this doorway here. So I think the next step is to recycle this little crane, a hoist, that I'm rather fond of. It's really handy, really simple to put together, It'd be easy to make another one, so I need to save as much money as I can. And this is made out of that thicker one, uh, 0.120 inch. I'll be some good tube for the flooring in here. Good and sturdy. Probably won't be able to do too much. Maybe, uh, maybe. I might just have enough to frame out the floor too. So that'll be, that'll, that'll be good. Help me save some money. And it won't be too hard to make another one of these, but uh, boy, I really did want to cut this down and make it so it would bolt together. But I really don't have the room to store this thing. And I got a slightly different idea for the uh, design on the hoist. So we'll rebuild that later. Time to recycle the old hoist here. I'll have to build another one down the road. It's 
too bad. I really like this thing. I was thinking about getting property in Arizona, which I probably still will. I don't know if I'll be able to afford any property in Montana. Um, though I'll still make it my residence. I figured this would be an awesome way to start out on a piece of bare land. You can throw a tarp up over it and have a little covered area. Make a couple more and have a little shop. A little tarp shop. Yeah, I'm going to have to remake this later, though. This, I need the steel. Got the windows cleaned up. Putting some uh, six by sixes up on the top there, or eight by eights. Give the tarp a little bit of a peek. Help the rain. Run off the sides. Get a little airflow up under there. Might help it stay dry. I think last year I just trapped water underneath the tarp, so I'm gonna try something a little different. Oh, so yeah, six by sixes. Yeah, sprinkles are starting to come down. Let's go ahead and do this again. Rain came briefly. Got the tarp up just barely in time. The first tarp, anyway. I'll, I'm gonna double tarp that. I was trying to get that back door capped off, but I'm calling it quits. We got a few more days of dry weather left. A couple of days of rain, a few days of dry weather, and it's just not looking too good for the rain this year. So I'm going to switch my focus to the truck, since I kind of looks like I need to get back to work. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to cap off that door like I wanted. I really wanted to get this painted this year, and I was really close. Really close to getting this uh, well, at least primered. But yeah, the rain is just coming early. Got the top soaked down pretty good in WD 40. Gonna have to go back and get some more. This stuff's expensive, but it does work pretty good. I'm happy with the way it turned out after storage from last year. the idea of having the air conditioner now centered. I'm actually going to bring that over, bring it a little bit lower for an emergency exit. The driver door turned out great. I'm happy that that at least turned out good. Had uh, some warping on the cabinet doors, but I was able to bend those back. Driver door was not bending back. I maxed out the uh, floor jack 
trying to bend that thing. So that's okay. I can get over the back door. I never really needed it. It also gives me a place for dresser drawers or cabinets, shelving. And this is a little too small for two doors anyways, in my opinion. So that's fine. I just wish I would have. But yeah, it's practice. Good welding practice and good door making practice. So that's fine. That's fine. Boy, we are almost there though. I'm... The more this gets done, the more I can see how well this is going to turn out. It's at least going to be, it's going to be doable. I'm going to be able to drive it. I'm going to be able to live in it. Just got a lot left to do. Might come in here during the winter and do the wiring. If I stay here for one more winter, I'll probably get back to Washington in the truck if things turn out the way I hope. Just need to get insurance, and I really want to get tires, but I think I can do without for a little while. Don't really have a choice. I am running out of money, and we're getting closer and closer to not being able to pay my bills. I just can't put out enough videos with this with these big projects. Or without taking the truck to town and doing some, you know, traveling vlogs or driving around vlogs. Shopping. Shopping vlogs. Lots I could do when I'm mobile, but being stuck here at the ranch, uh, I just got these projects to work on and I just can't get enough videos made to make a living. So let's hope Rusty is going to be a good option for transportation. 200 plus thousand miles though, I'm still a little worried about using this truck but it's all I got. I really need to get shocks too now that I can now that I see one poking out the bottom there. Some rusty old shocks really need to I really need to get some new ones. Shocks and tires and then rusty should be okay. We'll see. I uh, just yeah don't have a choice so insurance Start saving up for some tires, and then I'm gonna work on building a a truck camper or a box, just a box so I can sleep in it. Or I'm going to try hopping in the back part where the bench seat is, or in the extended part of the cab back seat, and see if I can even sleep in there. Uh, usually, can't. There's a spot in front of the truck out of the rain. I could frame up a little camper for it or back the truck in there and do that. So that'll be, that'll be fun. And it'll get me back on the road sooner. So I already pulled the seat forward. Just kind of checking it to see how easy it is to get back there. It's kind of difficult. I mean, there's no... Be nice if there was a, a door there, but that's okay. I can make it work. I can't. Uh, I gotta get back to work, so. Everything kind of just went to sh No rides to town to get parts. Shitty weather. No money. I'm gonna go back to work. I could probably afford to get the framing for the subfloor and we can save old hoisty boy here because this thing is cool simple probably the simplest thing i've ever made but i was able to pick up these 80 pound sheets and put them right where i need it lift up the welder to the roof lift up the solar panels don't absolutely need it for that stuff i really needed it for lifting the 80 pound sheets because uh, I don't know how else I would have done that without another pair of hands. I like doing things myself. Yeah, rain is back. Patch has got to wait one more winter. I need to go get the other tarp on here, but some W40 first. 
Move on to the next thing. I gotta get out of here. I can't. I can't do this anymore. I do not want. I do not want to stay another winter out here. I want to get back home. And Rusty is my ticket out of here. It's running great. Brakes are a hundred percent now. No problems. Uh, there is a little bit of a sputter at higher speeds, so I'm kind of thinking it might need a fuel filter, or there might be a fuel issue, or there might be some leaky vacuum lines. I know it's got this hard, these hard vacuum lines. I need to go through and check them all. Yeah, Rusty might be just my... Rusty's my freedom horse. You know, I'm going to ride Rusty to where I belong. Where all the freedom's at. Anyway, you guys, stay tuned. Got another, another camper project or something coming up, and then we'll be. I'm gonna start cruising around in old Rusty here. Gonna wrap up patches real good. Come back with some money and finish her up. Maybe I'll even come back with enough money to make my porta shop. I get insurance on old Rusty. I'll take him out for his maiden voyage. Out on the road after many, many years. Yeah, tires. Is there a date code on it? I don't think I need to see the date code. They're old. 65 PSI, made in Japan. 04? 2004? Boy, I hope not. Uh, I don't know. I don't see a date code. I don't remember where the date codes are. I think it's probably an 04. Yeah, I'm thinking that is the, uh, I think this might, these might be 04. 20 year old tires. God, I hope not. I hope these are not 04. Somebody tell me if you know. Do yeah, this tires. Sat in the sun. Oh, it's weird. I don't see any date codes on these back ones. I guess the new ones, or the front ones, do look newer. I don't think it matters. I think these just need to be replaced. I mean, if I gotta feed myself, I, I'm just I'm gonna have to do it getting to that point okay guys more waiting but we're gonna hop onto something else I'm not gonna sit around I'm not gonna be stuck up here anymore.